today is going to be a bit different. I just wanted to talk about isometric draw order. Uh, I really love isometric games. Like, <laughs> I, if a game was really, really bad, but it was in, it was had an isometric perspective, I would enjoy it. I just, I just really like the way that isometric looks, and. I've tried to do it myself a few times in the past and I always kind of get stuck in certain places but um, I've been working on the game for someone and I managed to fix my problem. Uh, I'm going to explain to you what the issue was. So normally when you are doing or when I do an isometric draw order I will start with Y0 and then go through uh, all the X cells on that row so x0 to x9 and then go to y1 and check all them so uh, 0 0 would have been drawn first then y0 x3 would get drawn next and then y0 x4 and then this one and this one etc etc and you end up with something like this where there's just individual objects. Uh, this square uh, wall thing is actually nine sprites. Um, I just stitched them together to to fit nine tiles, but they're all individual tiles. It's still drawn from left to right, top to bottom, or sorry, top to bottom, left to right. But the problem, there's a problem that occurs doing this when you have items uh, like like this so on the right uh, the draw order is incorrect and on the left is how it should appear uh, this occurs because we have items that occupy more than one Y cell so it doesn't matter if you have items that cover four X cells because this one will get drawn then this one then this one and then this will get drawn and anything on the second on, on Y1 will get drawn over it so it doesn't affect it but when you have when you have items occup occupying more than one Y cell then uh, that's when problems occur uh, for example if you look at this screenshot here uh, this table is A that's B this is C and this is D so I've done a, a top-down diagram so what's happening is we're starting at Y0 going across we find this item first so it's going to draw A first then it's going to go going to go on to Y1 then it finds B it's going to draw A then B so B is going to appear over A which is wrong and then it's going to go down to Y2 uh, it's going to find C C is going to get drawn over B and A and it finds D and D is going to get drawn over B and A. The only thing that's right in the whole draw order is that D is drawn after C and that's because they share the same starting Y coordinate. That's why that works. So the actual order we want it, want it to be drawn in is C, D, B, A. But if we change the draw order to do um, all the Y's first, then so Y0 to 9, then uh, X is 1, then Y0 to 9, and X is 2. If we change that draw order, then all we're doing is swapping the problem around to horizontal furniture or pieces so we haven't fixed the problem we're just switching it around so the way that I got around this was uh, I'm still drawing from left to right so Y0 and the next 0 to 9 and as soon as we find an item that has that covers more than one Y cell uh, I don't add it to the draw list so I'm using a DSQ to hold the drawing order uh, and a DSQ is the first time I've ever used it but it's basically a first in first out so whatever you add to the queue first is going to be 
the first thing you get out of it as opposed to a stack where the thing you put in uh, last comes out first what we need to do is as soon as we hit an object that covers more than one Y cell we want to check um, for every Y cell that it occupies so Y0 to Y3 and every X cell that comes before the starting X cell for the object so basically this whole area needs to be checked for furniture and what it will do uh, the script that I wrote is it will check y0 to y to x5 and then y1 all the way to here and it will find b and before it adds b to the queue because b is a multiple y cell object as well b is going to do its own search b is going to start at y1 uh, go and then go from x0 to x2 then it's going to go to y2 it'll find c but because C doesn't have anything before it, it's nothing to search. C is going to be the first one added to the DSQ, which is what we want. Then B is going to check uh, this cell here, Y2X1, and it's going to check 2, uh, 2, and it'll find D. Uh, D is going to check this area here, and it will find C, but because C's already been added to the queue, D isn't going to add it. And then when D's finish, finished its search, D will be added to the queue. And then B will check this row and it won't find anything. And then B will be added to the queue. And A uh, will have finished, no it won't. A will have finished checking B. It'll then check uh, this row. It'll find C and D, but because they've been, been added, it won't add them as well. It'll check this row. And then that's the search done for A's area. And then A will be added to the queue. And that's how we get the draw order that looks like this, where D, C, B, A get drawn. I hope you found this informative. Uh, I just wanted to kind of explain the concept rather than show code, because it took me quite a long time to get to the stage. So uh, hopefully this will save you guys uh, time in the future if you ever come to make a game like this uh, but as always uh, thank you for watching and i will catch you next time bye for now